So can we make an electric rocket? Well, it depends. What's up, you scholars of enlightenment? Dr. Sam Gregson here again. I hope you're having a fantastic start to the week. For the second time in the last couple of weeks, Elon Musk, love him or hate him, has picked a fight with Uncle Isaac's laws of motion. Last week, Tesla's Cybertruck attempted to break Newton's second law and showed that a vehicle with more sharp deviations than Twitter's recent terms of service could in fact provide the irresistibly ugly force needed to shift an immovable object. This week, Elon has picked a fight with Newton's third law, which states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Responding to a tweet from the World of Engineering account on Twitter, Elon announced that an electric rocket is impossible due to Newton's third law. A sentiment that left many physicists and science reporters, including myself, slightly perplexed. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Especially as Elon himself has talked about the possibility of electric rockets on the Joe Rogan podcast, and Musk's own Starlink satellites use iron manoeuvring thrusters, propulsion systems that most people would accept as being electric by any common definition. So this all got a little bit weird, with people rushing in to either dunk on or back up Musk. I mean, welcome to Twitter. It's a partisan sport. Either you are with us, or you are with the terrorists. But the big question at the base of this is, can you make an electric rocket? Well, the answer to that depends on something I usually hate. Semantics. It depends on what you mean by rocket and what you mean by electric. What do you mean do? What do you mean you? What do you mean believe? The concept of an electric rocket is not at all well defined. If you look up the definition of rocket in the dictionary, a rocket is essentially a tube in which combustion occurs. The combustion produces gases that exit the rocket at high speed in one direction, carrying momentum. In order to conserve momentum in the system overall, the rocket is accelerated in the opposite direction. The key point here is that the very definition of a rocket implies that combustion, the burning of a fuel in oxygen, has to occur. So what is an electric rocket? Initially, it seems like a juxtaposition, unless electricity is somehow used to generate fuel that then combusts. However, as my colleague and friend Ramsey Faraher points out, the combustion of hydrogen and oxygen in a traditional rocket is really just the reordering and repackaging of electrons in a chemical reaction. So, in a sense, we could say that the rockets we currently use are already electric rockets, which makes the term electric rocket a worthless tautology. So I guess the question really becomes, what does Elon Musk mean? when he talks about an electric rocket. Because he clearly doesn't think an electric rocket is ruled out simply by the standard definition of a rocket implying combustion. That would be a pretty circular argument and he wouldn't have needed to invoke Newton's third law. My source is that I made it the fuck up. So I'm going to try and steal man Elon and I'm assuming that by electric rocket, Elon means something like a Tesla electric car. In the context of his response, electric then means something that has a battery which you charge from an external source. The vehicle then uses electrical power to drive connected components like wheels and doesn't throw anything out of the back that could create a thrust. It's essentially a self-contained unit that would need to push against something to gain traction and move forward, like a helicopter pushes against the air, a flywheel against the water, or a Tesla's wheels against the road. If that's what Elon means by an electric rocket, a vehicle that uses electricity internally, but which doesn't use it to throw stuff out of the back and which can still maintain thrust even in a vacuum, then yes, he's correct. We can't make an electric rocket. 
Such a Musk-centric definition would explain why Elon declared an electric rocket impossible based on Newton's third law. In the vacuum of space, such a self-contained vehicle would have nothing to push against and couldn't generate its own thrust. This does indeed seem to be what Elon was driving at, even if he worded things incredibly sloppily, as it's almost identical to the line he took on the Joe Rogan podcast in 2021. Do you think there'll ever be a time where there's an alternative source of propulsion outside of just of, of a, a burning fuel? Like, is it possible that they, someone would develop a nuclear propulsion or, or some other method other than just burning large amounts of gasoline or rocket fuel? Uh, there's no way around Newton's third law, really. Um, so you, you basically have to expel mass. Uh, you, 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 like when you get, the, the, there's a, you know, for a car that you could push against the ground, for an, app, for an aircraft, you can react against the air. Um, for a boat, you, you can react against water. In vacuum, there is nothing. So you, you, the only way to move is to react against yourself, to essentially shoot out gas at very high velocity uh, so, and, and, and to transfer momentum, mom momentum from, you know, to, to, to that gas that is going that, that way very rapidly. Um, so you want to accelerate a small amount of mass very fast in order to have you, the large amount of mass, accelerate slowly. Because momentum is conserved. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so we're stuck with gas. Yeah. Until some insane breakthrough dealing with gravity or yeah, something. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to happen. Not, not in our lifetime? Not in our lifetime. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. Now, leaving aside Joe's ignorance regarding different methods of propulsion and pretty much every other subject of note, Elon is saying exactly what I outlined previously. To him, a rocket, as he's describing it, is something that moves through space by throwing mass one way and hence being accelerated in the other. He doesn't even rule out the idea that electricity from a battery or solar cells could be used to create mass that is then thrown out of the back of your craft later. So, you, so ironically, uh, everything will go electric except for rockets. Mm. Uh, it's just, it's, now, you can make rockets indirectly electric by using electricity to create the fuel. Um, so you can take uh, CO2 and H2O uh, and create methane and oxygen from that. So when Elon rules an electric rocket impossible, he seems to be basically ruling out being able to drive a battery or solar powered Tesla through space. So in a very narrow Musk centric sense, his tweet is correct. It's just that the wording is an absolute car crash, which probably makes sense given Tesla's full self-drive record. Hey doc, we better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. The thing that got physicists up in arms, in my opinion, is that this is an incredibly narrow definition of an electric rocket, which downplays the accomplishments of NASA and other actors, and which, as is not atypical for Elon, seems to revolve around his own internal monologue and products. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Space-based electric propulsion systems, as most experts view them, are not only perfectly viable according to Newton's third law, but many have been in operation for quite a while. Take the iron engines of the NASA Dawn mission that launched in 2007 and visited the asteroids Vesta and Ceres. The spacecraft carried three redundant solar-powered iron engines. Solar power was used to generate electricity, bombard gas with electrons and ionize it, and then generate high voltage to accelerate the positively charged ions produced rapidly out of the back of the spacecraft, creating thrust. Musk's own Starlink satellites also utilize iron thruster technology. So space-based electric propulsion systems aren't confined to just taking advantage of the expulsion of combustion products. 
many other types of propulsion are possible, practical, and fully in accordance with Newton's third law. Is there a problem with the three laws? The three laws are perfect. Now, many Musk defenders have suggested that what Elon really meant by a rocket is a multi-ton craft that can take off from the surface of the Earth and break orbit. That is certainly extremely difficult at present using anything except conventional combustion rockets. Iron-based systems are extremely efficient in space, where tiny thrusts can move spacecraft through the vacuum and there's no air resistance. But such tiny thrusts are useless when trying to lift a spacecraft from the surface of the heavy Earth, fight gravity, and reach escape velocity. However, even if we assume that this is what Elon was alluding to, an iron-based rocket is not impossible according to Newton's third law. It's simply impractical given current technology. If we could throw enough irons out of the back of a spacecraft fast enough, it could technically reach orbit. Newton's third law places no restriction on the type of energy source we have to use to create thrust. Indeed, researchers are already working on creating in-atmosphere plasma jet engines for aircraft and other applications. So rockets that do not use combustion may be impractical at present for certain applications, but they're certainly not unphysical. The three laws will lead to only one logical outcome. What? What outcome? Revolution. So, can we make an electric rocket? Yes. And no. It depends on the context and the question that you're asking. Clear? Are we clear? Crystal. What is clear is that Elon caused a lot of people to look up, grapple with, and understand Newton's laws of motion. And to a physicist like me, that can only be a good thing. So, bravo, Elon. I want to know what you think, because you're the scholars of enlightenment that I do this for. So, please take a moment, if you wish, to let me know down in the comment section. And if you like this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, setting up notifications, and sharing this video more widely. I can't tell you how much these simple actions help me out and how much I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being scientific. Thanks for being bad.